are committed to supporting uh, the current efforts towards peace and stability of South Sudan. Um, we uh, will be supporting uh, uh, every uh, positive steps that uh, will be taken. Uh, and uh, we believe that uh, our partnership uh, towards achieving uh, the ultimate objective of uh, uh, peace and stability in South Sudan is, uh, 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 requires a, a very strong and, 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 and trustworthy uh, 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 partnership. And With all of this happening, we're also seeing sub-national conflict across the whole country, localised conflict across the whole country, at a time when actually we want to see the political uh, um, gains that has happened since the, unif the, the unity government came in place last year. We want to see that strengthened, we want to see that uh, supported, because only through stability and peace are we going to actually see real development and longer term uh, support from the humanitarians having that impact to make this country a more prosperous and peaceful nation. people of South Sudan, um, uh, uh, times uh, are, remain still uh, difficult, uh, we, we are aware of that, but uh, uh, I can assure them that uh, uh, the commitment of our uh, colleagues from the UN, uh, those colleagues involved in humanitarian efforts, uh, peacekeeping, development aid, uh, protecting women, protecting girls, protecting children, that commitment is, is very, very strong and uh, they will continue, we will continue to do our best to, to help and support the, the South Sudanese uh, people um, moving forward.